Hello friends, and in this video, let's compare the budget international phone, the Xiaomi Redmi Note 10 Pro versus the flagship phone from Apple, the Apple iPhone 12 Pro. So the first thing to take into consideration is the price. The Redmi Note 10 Pro uh, only cost around $260 depending on where you buy it from, but it's way less than the price of the iPhone 12 Pro. That one's a thousand dollars, no matter where you get it brand new. So obviously the Redmi Note 10 Pro is going to offer a lot of value if price is heavily on your mind. So the Redmi phone weighs in at 193 grams, which is 6.81 ounces while the iPhone 12 Pro weighs in at 189 grams at 6.7 ounces. So very similar in weight, except the Redmi weighs just a little bit more than the iPhone. Both of these phones are dual SIM devices. That means that you could use two different services, two different data plans, two different phone numbers. It's good for traveling, except that the Redmi phone, you could put two, two you could put two sim cards two physical sim cards in the phone while on the iphone one of those uh sim cards is physical the other one is an e-sim which lives in the phone so depending on uh what is more convenient for you uh both of these are a little bit different when it offers um connectability with uh sim cards for water and dust resistance the redmi uh, it has a IP rating of 53, which is dust and splash protection. So not uh, a lot going on here. It's not going to be full submersion protection, while the iPhone has IP68 dust and water resistance. So you could dunk the phone in water uh, uh, up to six meters for 30 minutes. So definitely you don't want to be using your phones near water. But if you had to accidentally drop one of these phones, it's going to be the iPhone that will more than likely survive. So now let's talk about the screens on these phones. The Redmi Note 10 Pro has an AMOLED screen with 120 Hertz, has a 450 nits on average and 1200 nits peak. While the iPhone 12 Pro has a Super Retina XDR OLED display with 800 nits average and 1200 nits at its peak. The Redmi Note 10 Pro screen size is 6.7 inches, which has 85% screen to body ratio, while the iPhone 12 Pro has a little bit smaller screen at 6.1 inches, which has 86% screen to body ratio. Resolution on these phones is as follows the redmi has a full hd display which resolution is 1080 by 2400 pixels it has ppi of 395 while the iphone has a resolution of 1170 by 2532 with 460 ppi density for software the redmi phone is running android 11 with its miui 12 skin on top while the iPhone 12 Pro has iOS 14 on deck, which will probably be upgraded for a couple of years, at least five, um, the Redmi phone, who knows how many updates it will really have. For the processor, the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 732G processor while the iPhone 12 Pro has an Apple A14 Bionic. The Redmi Note 10 Pro has 64 gigs of internal storage, while the iPhone 12 Pro has 128 gigs of internal storage, but the Redmi phone has a micro SD card slot so you could expand that storage significantly for a lower price while well, you cannot do that on the iPhone 12 Pro. Both phones, the Redmi and the iPhone, offer 6 gigs of RAM. 
moving on to the cameras the big selling point of the redmi note 10 pro is its main 108 megapixel camera it also has a 8 megapixel ultra wide 5 megapixel macro and 2 megapixel depth camera while the iphone 12 pro has a triple setup of 12 megapixel main camera 12 megapixel telephoto and 12 megapixel ultra wide lens Both phones record an up to 4K video. For the selfie cameras, the Redmi phone has a 16 megapixel selfie cam, while the iPhone has a 12 megapixel selfie cam. The Redmi phone has selfie video up to 1080p, while the iPhone has 4K on the selfie video. One thing that the Redmi has going for it is the headphone jack, while the iPhone does not. If you need a headphone connect of a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, you need to use a dongle on the iPhone. So it's pretty handy that the Redmi has a headphone jack, something not being offered on flagships nowadays. Bluetooth on these phones is as follows. You get Bluetooth 5.1 on the Redmi phone and you get Bluetooth 5.0 on the iPhone 12 Pro. And it's an underrated feature because this is how you connect your, head, your wireless headphones and your smart bands or smart watches. The Redmi Note 10 Pro does have NFC, but the iPhone also has NFC, but it's mostly relegated to Apple Pay. The Redmi Note 10 Pro uses the standard for Android, which is USB type C, as the iPhone uses the usual lightning for iOS devices. The big advantage of USB type C on the Redmi phone is that you could also use uh, that same type of charger with laptops, with uh, tablets, even uh, MacBooks, even iPads. Um, so it's very universal port. To unlock the Redmi Note 10 Pro, it has a side-mounted fingerprint reader, while the iPhone uses something totally different, it relies solely on Face ID, uh, so there's no way to use your finger to unlock the device. Batteries on these devices are way different. The Redmi Note 10 Pro uses a massive 5,020 milliamp battery while the iPhone 12 Pro has a 2815 milliamp battery. So it's safe to say that the Redmi phone will probably last you way longer than the iPhone 12 Pro battery. If you do manage to need more battery during the day, both of these offer fast charging. The Redmi Note 10 Pro has fast charging at 33 watts, which advertises around 60% charge in 30 minutes while the iPhone charging at fast charge is 20 watts and it claims 50% in 30 minutes. So after comparing the specs of both of these devices, there's a couple of things that are really clear and things that, are, that stand out. Now the Redmi Note 10 Pro has a lot of things going for it, specifically that it has that big 108 megapixel camera. So that's one giant advantage right there. Um, although the iPhone does have a uh, best in class camera. The other thing is it has a lower, lower price, the Redmi Note 10 Pro versus the iPhone's thousand dollar price tag. So it's way more affordable. You can get four of these devices just about for one iPhone 12 Pro. Um, this phone has dual SIM, it comes unlocked. The iPhone relies on uh, eSIM technology instead of two physical SIMs. Uh, the iPhone does have its own advantages just because it's a premium phone with premium build material and it is always going to have that steady OS updates for at least five years. Can't say the same about the Redmi phone, but the Redmi offers a lot of value, especially that big battery that will be better than the iPhone 12 Pro. So that's been my comparison of these two phones. And then it doesn't matter if you pick either of these up because uh, for 99% of people, most apps 
will work just fine on either of the devices, and that's what we're used to now. Um, pick up the Redmi um, for 260 bucks, and if you have the budget, pick up the iPhone 12 Pro for a thousand bucks. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.